What's up guys and welcome. You're watching Fuzzy Fitness. Let's start this video with the current look of Andrew Jack. So Andrew is fully focused on his long-term goals and that goal is to be Mr. Olympia one day. Now we know every bodybuilder who steps on the Olympia stage. They have the same goal but not everyone has the tools to be top 5 at the Olympia level no matter how hard they work. So Andrew Jack is already top 5 in the world and everyone who has an eye for bodybuilding they know that Andrew has all the tools to be Mr. Olympia in the future. So imagine if Andrew Jack didn't fall out of this upcoming Arnold. All the predictions would have been different, with Andrew being in the solid top 3 spot. But him giving his body that much needed rest and break, that was for the greater good. And I have to say that was the right move. Because Andrew has been competing non-stop since he turned pro. That was at the Arnold Classic 2022. And to be able to make so much improvements in such short bursts of offseason, that was really unbelievably good. I think this will be the very first time since 2021. Andrew will be having a proper off-season time. So Texas Pro 2023 is the standard set by Andrew Jack. His best physique to date. So imagine him putting some thickness in the side and his back. He's gonna be one of the hardest bodybuilders to beat. And he is definitely gonna be a Mr. Olympia title contender. So if people had any doubts about Harsanti's condition, these 5 days out pictures with his coach Milos, that will clear this up right away. So we already saw how dangerous Harsamdi can be in the side shorts with that insane amount of detail on the side of his legs and that hanging hamstring. That is just superb. But the most impressive thing about this update is his waistline. He's creating more of a V-taper with those wide delts and his physique now is looking so much more streamlined in the waist department. So Marcelo executed that plan laid by Milos not only during this prep but throughout the offseason as well. He is a much bigger version of what he used to be back in 2021 when he first came onto the scene. So you cannot name many IB pros who had such high prepping for their second only pro show of their careers. But Harsamdi made it really possible with his super performance at Romania Pro. So all that's left for him and Milos is to go through this peak week. He already seems better than Romania Pro, which is what the bodybuilding is all about. To be better than how you looked in your previous contest. Lastly, we have another update from Good Vito. A little less than six weeks out of his pro debut, which is gonna be at the Arnold Classic South America, or also known as Arnold Brazil. So that is a crazy look for six weeks out. The fans have waited for so long for him to make his pro debut, and now that it's finally happening, he has to live up to the hype. So the thing is, we shouldn't expect him to win the Arnold Brazil. It will have a very strong lineup, but getting those comparisons with Rafael Brandao and a bunch of other big names. That is gonna be such a good look for Good Vito. So Vito has one of the craziest structure that we have seen in the bodybuilding recently. And the extent of improvements in his back double bicep. That is gonna be a major factor on how he does against the pros. So what did you guys think? How high can Vito place at his pro debut? Can he shock the bodybuilding world? Do let me know in the comments below. Also hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video. And smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.